Hey guys, it's John, the Health Alchemist here, and in this video, I am going to show you how to use my fitness pal. Now, I use this app slightly different than how it is originally set up. I have my own little tips and tricks, so that's why I created this video and I wanted to show you guys. My fitness pal, if you do not know what it is, it's simply an app where you can track the food you eat throughout the day, you can see your caloric intake, your macronutrients, your micronutrients. It's a really cool app, it's free, and I use it practically every day. And with the help of this app is pretty much what helped me gain 15 pounds of muscle within a year. So thank you, my fitness pal. And now let's just jump right into it. If you have an iPhone, you could download this app on iTunes or the Apple Store. I don't know because I'm using Android. So I downloaded the app from the Play Store. So download the app. It'll look like this in the corner and simply tap on the app to open it now if you're not signed in or if you do not have an account it will prompt you to enter your email address create a password put in your goals and all of that and once that's all set up you will see this screen and this screen is simply just the dashboard it at the top bar you can see where it has your caloric goals your um, remaining calories and whatnot so once you're signed in and you're on this dashboard, what you want to do is tap the little three bars in the top left corner next to where it says My Fitness Pal. So tap that and it'll bring up the whole sidebar menu. And there you can see my face and my account in the top left corner. And the three tabs that I want to kind of really drill into you guys are the Diary tab the goals tab and the nutrition tab. These are the ones that I mainly use. A lot of the other stuff I don't really necessarily play around with. It doesn't mean they're not beneficial or not, but for the way I use the app, I kind of disregard everything else. So we're gonna start with goals. What you're gonna do is tap on the goals in the sidebar menu and it will bring you up to this screen. So in this screen, this is where you're going to be inputting your caloric intake, your macronutrients, and if your weight, if you had not done that yet. Now, one thing to take note of is MyFitnessPal will automatically create a calorie and macronutrient intake for you, but we're gonna bypass that and create our own. So what we are gonna do is go under the Nutrition Goals tab, which is right under Activity Level, tap that, and we are prompted with the screen that says default goal, calories, carbohydrates, protein, fats. Now, for calories, we're just simply going to tap anywhere within this box. And bam, that comes up. Once this menu pops up, you could type in your caloric goal, the calories you want to basically consume every day. And if you are a client of mine, you will already be given this information. So all you have to do is just type it in, bop, bop, boom, 2,200 calories, and I'm hitting save. And that will save your caloric goal, the calories you want to eat per day. For the macronutrients, which are the carbohydrates, the proteins, and the fats, what we're going to do is just tap anywhere in the blocks of either of these. So bam, and you'll see this screen. So here you'll see a list of percentages in the middle of the screen and grams of each macronutrient at the top. So right now it says carbs, 83 grams, protein, 165 grams, and fats, 134 grams. And then underneath, I have 15%, 30%, and 55%. So to change the amount of macronutrients you want to consume, you simply place your finger on one of the percentages and either scroll down or up to change the number. And as you can see, when I scroll down, it's going to 10%, which brings it to 55 grams of carbohydrates. And I scroll up and it increases the number. And you pretty much do that for each macronutrient to set it to whatever number you would like. And just like for calories, if you are a client of mine, I will provide you all of these numbers 
so you know what to do as soon as you see this menu bing bang boom you got your numbers you got your macronutrients and we're good to go one little tidbit make sure that the percentage total at the bottom of the screen equals 100 percent you can see it right at the bottom it says total macronutrients must equal 100 percent now for example if i'm off a little bit it will tell me and it will say 95 percent and it will be red indicating it's not 100 percent and my fitness pal won't let you save the settings until they equal 100 percent so that's a little feature they have so you don't get all mixed up so once everything is in order tap on the check mark in the upper right corner to save that information and you will go back to the previous menu so we're gonna go back to the dashboard menu so keep going back and bam if you ever want to go to the dashboard menu remember it's the three bars in the top left corner tap that and bam this is your dashboard menu and the next one we are going to go over is diary so tap where it says diary and it will open up to this page this is the page where you'll be inputting pretty much everything you eat and it's an easy place to track your calories as well because it's right there at the top of the screen now my fitness pal organizes each section into lunch dinner breakfast snacks to kind of organize that and make it easier but if you're kind of like stressing out because oh you put a dinner food in the breakfast section it really doesn't matter it doesn't change like the meaning of the food or anything like that it's just a way to organize it so don't stress if you mix things up okay so i'm going to show you a little example of how to log food into this section of the app now over time it will save most of your common and most recent foods so pretty much as the more you do this the easier it will become because you just tap in breakfast and then like so you'll have a list of all the stuff that you recently ate and it makes it very easily and pretty convenient so logging your food does not become a real pain in the ass so to log a food you have two options one you can search for the food or you can scan the barcode of the food that you are eating. To search a food, all you have to do is tap the search for a food bar, pretty self-explanatory, and type in what you ate. So I'm gonna show you a quick example. Let me type in apple, apple, all right. Now you'll see here that there's all kinds of options, Fiji apple. When you kind of type in apple, it will bring up like company names so applegate farms is one if you're just simply looking for an apple you could just type like small red gala so a quick tip that i do when i'm looking at this long list is i try to find something that is really similar to what i eat and i want to make sure that it's something easy to measure so that being said right here you can see granny smith apple half a medium apple 154 grams or one gal apple when it just says one apple small red apple and the thing is when it just says one apple it's kind of generic and if you really want to be more precise with what you eat you want to choose things that gives you the option of choosing grams ounces and things of that nature so i'm going to want to pick the medium green apple and bam it'll bring us to this menu now once you pick one and this menu shows up you can type in the servings and alter the servant size that's kind of one of my favorite features about this app so basically all you have to do is tap anywhere on the number of servings box and then this will come up now as you can see under the servings of section there's a little drop down menu and by tapping that you can change the serving size. So a little tip for you that I do pretty much all the time is on a lot of foods, I change the serving size to one ounce or one gram if possible. Then on the servings of section, I type in how much my food basically weighs. So let me leave this and I'll show you a quick example. So we're going to go to lunch add food organic chicken breast now 
As you can see, I have numbers of serving 6.3 and serving size is an ounce. I tap on that and there's an option of four ounces or one ounce. For me, just to keep it simple, I type in one ounce for the serving size and then whatever my chicken breast weighs if my chicken breast weighs four ounces i type in four if it weighs 5.5 ounces i type in 5.5 and then i save it and as you can see under the servant size section it'll say 35.8 grams of protein 165 calories and 2.1 grams of fat so that's a simple way i pretty much use that option and once you're done log on your food Say I want to eat the chicken breast, it's 6.3 ounces. I type the little check in the top right corner, and then bam, it's logged in. And at the top of this dashboard, you'll notice that it says food 189 plus zero and equals 2,011 calories. And that's the amount of calories that I have left, and my goal is 2,200. The second way to log food in is with the barcode scanner. So let's go back to breakfast and you'll see in the top right corner, right across from search for a food, you'll see a little rectangle barcode. You want to tap that and the screen will come up and you have your barcode scanner. So you take your food, you put it in front of the barcode and it will scan it automatically just like you're at the self-checkout at Walmart or something like that. And it will find your food. And from there, if everything looks right, make sure, here's another tip, that when you scan a food, that the servant sizes and the number of servings match what it really says in the nutrition facts. So make sure it really, one tablespoon is 14 grams of fat and 120 calories. Sometimes things can get screwed up, so it's just a little... Thing to watch out for and if you want to log it in just type the little check mark bam simple as that so i highly suggest using the barcode scanner with foods that you eat on a daily basis you only have to do it once and once you do it once you're pretty much set and then you could just go type in you know breakfast and bam all your recent foods that you scanned will be there simple it's, just, it's simple i like it so now that we logged in some food, let's wrap this up and go back to the dashboard menu. So we'll tap the three little bars, bam, dashboard menu, and we're going to tap nutrition. And if you're new to the app or just downloaded it, most likely the calories circle graph like so will appear. And what you want to do is go to the light blue box right under where it says nutrition and tap the section that says nutrients so bam nutrients and this is my go-to menu under the nutrition portion of this app makes it easy because it lays out all the macronutrients my micronutrients down below and it's an easy way to you know if i want to try to hit my macros or hit a certain number of protein or track how much fiber i ate in the day this is where this is pretty much your hub where you'll find all of this information so on the screen you'll see a list that says total goal and left total pretty much means the total grams of the nutrient that you currently have eaten goal is the number that you want to reach and left simply means the grams that you have remaining until your goal is reached if you're a client of mine, this is where you want to track your macronutrients and ensure you reach your goals. So if you're a client of mine, this is your go-to hub. Don't forget it. And that's pretty much it. This is kind of how I use my fitness pal. Log in your food, you check your caloric intake, your proteins, your fats, your carbs, and it's a great it's really a great way to follow what you eat without making it too stressful on yourself and it's on your phone so how easy is that you just go on your phone type it in and then bam you're done you're set you're losing weight you're building muscle you're looking sexy whatever you got to do 
you're getting it done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a quick little tutorial. And I and if you have any questions, just leave them below in the comments and I will be sure to help you guys out. And in that end note, keep on keeping on and I will see you next time. Peace out.